the activities that happened March 5th, March 6th, March 7th, 2012 are uh, part of a, an effort that the underwater archaeology branch here has been doing uh, as part of a larger effort by the Department of Cultural Resources. There have been a lot of wrecks found, a lot of artifacts. By far the biggest collection has been the modern Greece. There was a tremendous interest 50 years ago during the centennial. And unbeknownst to them, I, I believe, in, in knowing how unstable the artifacts were, brought uh, thousands of, of salty, crusty artifacts. At first, I don't think they even knew how to deal with them at all, but eventually they realized they needed to at least keep them in water. And this was, that was the genesis of the preservation laboratory here, and, and eventually our underwater archaeology and conservation uh, capabilities and facility. The problem was that a number of artifacts never made it out of the tanks once they got in there. Well, probably half of the artifacts were, were never treated. East Carolina University has a conservation program. As part of their maritime studies, they do a lot of shipwreck archaeology. Their conservator last spring was interested in giving them some kind of practical experience. The modern Greece came up, and these are artifacts that are, are really made tailor-made for student projects, internships. All of a sudden, well, what can we come down on spring break? Well, that'd be great. So I thought they were talking about a few people. All of a sudden, it was they had a dozen people that wanted to take off, didn't want to go to Key West or Cozumel or anywhere. They wanted to come down here. The Friends of the Historic Site was interested in developing our partnership and, and the underwater part of the interpretation of Fort Fisher. So they were on board and, and provided the funding. And uh, so last year they came down for three days. It was a success. They got through about half of the materials. This year, uh, more into th this whole program that we want to commemorate a modern Greece, commemorate its place in both in history and in in the history and modern history of underwater archaeology and conservation. So we again invited the East Carolina folks back. Shauna Daniel was the instructor this year. And lo and behold, we had another great, great interest, nine students and uh, several from UNCW. It's uh, gone like clockwork. And Nathan Henry is the uh, conservator here and in charge. We had one of the East Carolina students from last year that has been his assistant and they have set this up perfectly. Get these things out, clean them off, photograph them, tag them, record what they are, and then get them into a more stable environment. Where they are now is out in the backyard in tanks that have been exposed, opened uh, for years and years. Uh, when they started getting into it, there was uh, several feet of leaf mat and it is black, gooky, uh, but when they cleaned them off, here all of a sudden you have these, these rifles and these knives and things that you can see, pocket knives, brass butt plates. Uh, this whole treasure trove of artifacts have come out. It looks like we're about on schedule to get everything out in uh, this session. They're going slow so that it's all cataloged and all put in the computer. There's never been a, a time, really, ability to, to deal in a big time with, uh, with this big time collection. So when we all of a sudden have 12 students, trained students that are, that are in training, that understand what we're trying to do, the concept of, of t taking photographs exactly and getting it all, all this stuff, tags on it, putting it in new tanks. Um, and also are willing to get down in the mud and gunk and bring these things out, clean them off and, and realize their, their historic worth, their conservation value as far as uh, learning about it, but also being able to exhibit these things. So when you have 12 students and three instructors in three days, it's the amazing the amount of, of work they, they got done. And, and I, I truly believe that without East Carolina's help, we would not have been able to tackle this at all. It would have taken us years and years. So uh, two sessions of three days with a dozen students has uh, brought out um, t 
thousands and thousands of artifacts. In the short term, we want to have a, a celebration in, in June 27th, which is the 150th anniversary of the sinking, to commemorate the vessel, also commemorate the beginnings of our program. And to, to do that, we want to have an open house, and we will have much of this wonderful material that's been brought out the last two years by East Carolina students and UNCW students and our staff with the Department of Cultural Resources to, to really begin to, to provide people an, uh, the understanding and impact that the modern Greece had through the history of North Carolina and Civil War particularly. Thank you.